Hey there! Are you ready for the most intense tennis workouts? Let's go then! And now, here's why footwork practice are so vital to Caroline Garcia, her tennis game and her matches. First off, footwork exercise enhance quickness and response. Tennis is a fast paced sport, thus in order to serve the ball back to their opponent, player must react quickly. In other way, in order to move her agility and rapid movements, Caroline Garcia practices her footwork since she's aware of how important speed into a tennis game. She may increase her response speed and her ability to respond swiftly to her opponent's shots by including footwork drills into her training regimen. She's therefore in a better position to strike the ball raising her chances of scoring a point. Second, foot activities improve synchronization between the feet. Because she's aware of how crucial the foot coordination is in tennis, Caroline Garcia has a great foot game. Connecting, connecting your foot, your feet, your balance, and your body posture as you strike the ball, this is known as foot -talk. She may increase the coordination of her footwork and make her motion and more fluid and even effective by completing footwork drills. She, another thing, she is thus able to make more accurate and precise strokes, which increase her chances of scoring or winning ma match points. Thirdly, practicing footwork makes it easier to maneuver around the tennis court due to her carefully planning of the courtside moves. Kajulin Gasset is wrong for her aggressive baseline play. She is aware that every move she makes while playing the game must be effective and deliberate. She may improve her motion by doing footwork drills which will enable her to move around the tennis court fast and easily. Because of this, she's able to catch the balls and other players might not be able to, to give her advantage over her rivals. Fourthly, footwork drills improve endurance. Tennis matches can be long and grueling, as we know, and players need to have that endurance to last through them. Kajuline Garcia incorporates footwork drills into her training routine to improve her endurance and enabling her to keep up with the, with the energy levels throughout the matches. The other thing is by incorporating footwork drills, she can build stamina, allowing her to maintain her performance level throughout the game. This makes her less likely to, to tire out during long matches, giving her a competitive edge over her opponents. Fifthly, footwork drills enhance footwork patterns. Tennis involves a lot of repetitive movements, and footwork patterns are no exception. Kaluleen Garcia understands that practicing footwork drills can help her improve her footwork patterns, making her movement more automatic and initiative. This allows her to focus more on the ball and her shoot rather than worrying about her footwork. By improving her footwork patterns, she can move around the tennis court more efficiently, giving her an advantage of her tennis opponent. Caroline Garcia forehand is one of the most powerful and consistent shots in women's tennis. Her forehand is characterized by a full swing, which generates a lot of space and spin. She hits the ball with a waist Western grip, which allow her to create a lot of spin on the tennis ball. This top spin helps her to ball the ball to clear the net and dip down into the tennis court, making it difficult for her opponents to return. Garcia's forehand is also known for, for its accuracy. She can hit the ball to any part of the court with the ease, which makes it difficult for her opponents to anticipate where she will hit the ball. She can hit both crosses, court, and down the line forehands with equal ease, 
which keeps her opponents guessing and on the move. One of the reasons why Gashi's forehand is so effective is because she uses the whole body to generate power. She has a good footwork. She allows her to get into the position to hit her forehands with the balance and control. She also uses her legs, hips, and torso to generate power and momentum. She helps her to hit the ball with a pace and a speed. Finally, she uses the, her arm and wrist to, to accelerate through the ball, which has the final touch and the power and the speed. However, even though Gash's forehand is a formidable weapon, there, will, uh, there are still areas where she can improve. Uh, and one area that she, she could work on is her consistency. While she's known for her hitting powerful forehand, she can sometimes make unforced errors where she goes too, too much. By working on her consistency, Kasha could make her forehand even more reliable and effective. Another area where Caroline Garcia can improve in her ability to hit the forehand on the on the run. While she is a great mover on the court tennis court, she can sometimes struggle to hit the forehand when she is stretched out wide and forced to hit the run. By practicing hitting her forehand on the run, Caroline Garcia could become even more dangerous on the tennis court. Finally, Caroline Garcia could work on adding more variety on her forehand, variety on her forehand, while she can hit her forehand to any part of the tennis court. She often hits with the same pace and spin, adding more variety of her on her forehand, such as hitting with slice or changing the angle of her shots. Gashia could keep her opponents off balance and make it even harder for them to anticipate her shots. In order to improve her forehand, it is crucial that Karin Gasha practice it regularly. By practicing her forehand, she can work on the areas that need improvement and hone her skills even further. There's a several ways that Gasha can practice her forehand. One way to practice hitting forehands against the AOL. This is a great way to work on, on footwork and balance and consistency. By hitting against the wall, Karoni Garcia can focus on hitting the ball cleanly and accurately without worrying about the direction or pace of the ball. Another way to practice her forehand is to hit with a partner. Hitting with, the, with a partner or a coach can work on her footwork, timing and consistency, with which also uh, getting her feel uh, hitting uh, consistent, which will also getting a feel of hitting against a live opponent. She can also practice her hitting on the run and adding more variety on her shots. Finally, Karoni Gasha can practice her forehand by hitting with medicine um, ball machine. This is a great way to work on her consistency and footwork. As well, the ball machine can send balls in different parts of the tennis court. Now, let's explore how Caroline Gasha approaches her strength training and how it helps her improve her tennis game. Strength training is an essential component of any Apple's training program as it helps to develop muscular strength, power and endurance. It involves the use of weights, resistance and bounds, body weight exercise to target specific muscle group and improve their function. By building strong muscles, Apple can improve their performance and reduce their risk of injury. With a focus on her requirement as a tennis player, Caroline Garcia follows a demanding strength training regimen. Her exercises concentrate on enhancing three skills that necessary for success on the tennis court. Power, explosiveness, and agility. Exercises like squats, lunges, deadlifts, and prometric are among many things she uses in her program to target various muscles group, and motions. One of the key areas that Corrine Garcia focuses on her strength training is her lower body, which is critical to her, for her ability to move quickly and change direction on the tennis court. She performs exercises such as squats and lunges to target her glutes, quads and hamstrings, 
which are all essential for running up and down tennis court, jumping and changing directions. By building strong legs muscles, she can generate more power, speed, and speed during her movement on the tennis court. The core muscles, which are uh, even more crucial for Caroline Garcia, Garcia's stability and balance when she moves on the tennis court and around and, uh, and, uh, and uh, other areas that she emphasizes is the strength training. To strengthen her abdominal obliques and the lower back, she engages in uh, workouts like planks, Russian twists, and side bends. Her performance will increase her risk of injuries. Will and will be the risk of injury will be decreased. Sorry, if she develops a strong core, so that she can maintain a good posture and balance as she swings. In addition to strength, traditional strength training exercise, Caroline Garcia also incorporates plyometric into her workouts. Plyometric are, are all explosive movement that involves jumping and other high impact exercises. They are designed to move, improve power, explosiveness, and agility which are all essential for success on the tennis court. Some examples of a prometric exercise that Caroline Garcia performs include jump box, jump squats, and lateral hops. One of the benefits of strength training, Caroline Garcia's, is that it helps her to build endurance, stamina, which are essential for performance at, the best, at her best during her long matches. So by building strong muscles, she can, she can maintain a high level of performance throughout the tennis match without getting fatigued. This is especially important in tennis, where matches can last for several hours and require a high level of physique exertion. Caroline Garcia also found that strength training lost her chance of injury, which, can, which is an advantage for ankle sprains, knee elements, elements and shoulder problems that are just few of many injuries that tennis players are prone to. She can lower her chances of injury that stay and stay healthy throughout the season by adding muscle mass and increasing her general fitness. In addition to strength training, Caroline Gashas also incorporates other types of training into her program, such as cardio, flexibility, training. Cardio training helps to improve her cardiovascular fitness and endurance. While flexibility training helps her to improve her range of motion and prevent injury. Caroline Garcia self is characterized by a high toss, high ball toss, a powerful motion, and a variety of spins and angles. And sorry, spins and ang angles. So let's take a closer look at Caroline Garcia's self and examine how she uses practice to improve her upper arm position and shoulder rotation. One of the key elements of Garcia's serves is her upper arm position. In the serve motion, the upper arm should go high in the preparation phase before quickly coming down to a trophy position. This movement is crucial for generating uh, power and speed in the serve as it allows her uh, players to use the body weight and momentum to generate force. Garcia's has a smooth and efficient motion that allows her to maximize the power and over herself. And her upper arm position is the key part of that. Another important aspect of Garcia's serve is her use of external shoulder rotation. This refers to the rotation of the shoulder joint outward way from the body. This movement helps her to generate power and speed in the serve, as well as to create spin and angles. Gaseous is external shoulder rotation both in the preparation phase and the trophy position as she continues to rotate the, her shoulder as she swings the racket back and up. This allows her to generate a high amount of velocity and spin in herself, making them difficult for opponents to return. The achievement, uh, to achieve these elements in herself, Gaseous must practice diligently to, pra to practice her technique. She likely spends hours in the court working on herself, practicing her toes, ball toss, arm position, and shoulder rotation. She may also use drills and exercise to strengthen her upper body and improve the range of motion 
she can help her generate even more power in her side. Kajlin Kashia is known for her speed, accuracy and consistency. She has a reliable 200 bar count, which allows her to generate plenty of power while maintaining control over her shots. Her technique is solid and she uses a mixed top spin and slice to keep her opponents on their toes. To continue to improve her backhand, Gashes has focused on practicing it consistently. She spends hours on the tennis court, hitting the backhand shots, working on a footwork, and experimenting with different techniques. She has she has also works worked on her with her coach coaches to identify areas of improvement and develop strategies to overcome her weakness. Gashes understands that a reliable backhand is essential to her success on the tennis court. It allows her to control the pace of the game, dominate rallies, and put pressure on her opponents, which consists with, with the consistent of practice she can she has able to refine her technique and develop her confidence to use her backhand in high pressure situations. Gashes continues to work on her hand on a game both off and off the on, on and off the tennis court despite her success. She's passionate about her what she has do, she does as and, as and as a result of her dedication to practice and the training. She has is she's among the best tennis players in the world. Most tenth ranked tenth in WTA. Gashes backhand is a weapon that puts her opponents on the edge whether she's hitting the backhands on the practice court or participating on a high stake matches.